YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Today is Tuesday, May 10th, 2022, and I hope y'all are safe and healthy. By now, I'm sure most of you have already heard the news of the content that is dropping Thursday, May 12th. I have not had a chance to uh, talk about it yet, so I wanted to make a short video uh, and just kind of give my thoughts on the everything that uh, was talked about in the Division stream. Uh, so yeah, we're going to do that in this video. We're going to start with the trailer for Season 9, and then we will go to the roadmap and all of the new uh, content. And at the end, we will play uh, what was talked about as far as PvP goes. This is Captain Lewis of the True Sons. My advanced team is already in DC. You still have no idea what you're up against. Full lockdown Okay guys, let's take a look at the Season 9 roadmap, and the new target for this season is going to be Lewis. Then we've got a new mode coming, Countdown, which uh, you guys have probably already seen, heard a lot about it from the PTS. We've got two new apparel events, uh, new targets, new leagues, global events, new gear, all that good stuff. Also with this update is going to come the new feature, the Expertise System, which y'all have seen in the PTS as well. Here's a look at all of the new targets that we're going to be taking down. You've got Major Castillo, Sergeant Daniels, Lieutenant Chang, uh, Major Xander, and then the prime target again is uh, Captain Lewis. Of course, you see the dates down there, May 12th, May 31st, June 21st, and then July 12th. Here's a look at the six global events. I don't think any of these are new, uh, and then the dates on them as well as well so we've got polarity switch from may 24th to may 30th guardians from june 14th to june 20th shd exposed from july 5th to july 11th and then hollywood from july 26th to august 1st golden bullet from august 9th to august 15th and then the reanimated from august 23rd to august 29th Moving on to the four leagues, we've got the Castillo League from May 17th to May 31st, the Daniels League from June 7th to June 21st, the Chang League from June 28th to July 12th, and then we've got the Xander League from July 19th to August 2nd. Also on your screen, you are seeing the uh, backpack trophy rewards that you get for these leagues, and man, do they look pretty sweet, not going to lie. Uh, I really like the Spartan helmet and the battle axe. Uh, those glow sticks are really cool. Uh, green's my favorite color, so I'll probably be rocking that a little bit. So sticking with the vanity and apparel items, here is a look at one of the new um, outfits from the apparel event. So it kind of looks like a, a Riker mixed with a cleaner. You got the kind of the trench mask or uh, cleaner mask. And then he's got some orange pants like Rikers would wear. Pretty cool little outfit. Here's a look at another one of the outfits. It's uh, just a, you kind of got the balaclava with some spray paint and a black hoodie with a tan jacket over it, spray paint. Kind of giving me the uh, X Defiant vibes, that kind of that punk rock look. Also in the trailer, I noticed this guy here. Uh, he is wearing a helmet that we do not have. So obviously that is another uh, outfit in the apparel event. Now it's just a kind of a small image here. You don't get to see much, but... Uh, that's a new helmet, obviously. All right, guys, Season 9, Hidden Alliance. Here is all the dates and all of that good stuff. Uh, if you want to take a look and keep up with everything, this is just kind of the overview of it. Okay, guys, let's get down to the nitty-gritty. Let's talk about our thoughts. Man, the stuff looks really cool. I'm excited for new content. Don't get me wrong, but... There is no PvP content. Uh, they talked about it. I'm actually going to play what they said about PvP when I get done ranting here. But all of this PvE stuff, it's all going to be repetitive. Countdown is going to be like Summit. It's going to get repetitive. It's going to get boring. It's going to get stale. Um, 
and I like all the the new gear and stuff. That's cool, but it, that's not going to keep me around. Ah, uh, and PVE players literally have so many options to play and things to do, and they really just broke my heart. And really, they shit on the PVP community. They really did. Let's have a look what they said. Um, there is there is the question that I really like, but I'm just going to highlight it here for Yannick. <laughs> In case he wants to no, answer no, that one. No, we need to acknowledge that. Uh, PvP, yes. Yeah, uh, focus on PvP. Yeah, the question is, will there be a focus on PvP? Uh, you know, we hear we hear the comments. We, we know that there is a PvP, a passionate PvP community out there uh, and that are playing either in the dark zone or in conflict. Uh, and there's a lot of uh, conversation on, you know, the state of PvP in our game and the things that work and the things that don't. Uh, we don't want to ignore that, and you know the changes to shield, for example, is, is one instance where uh, we try to do something because it's something we we could do, uh, we could afford doing, and that at least addresses one of the problems. There's other problems in PvP. So, will there be any focus on PvP? Uh, I don't know because that's you know that that's not a matter of just wanting to do it. It's a matter of having the right team to do that as well. Uh, and the team we have, and it's not just because, but the team we have on the division is a team that is very much built uh, to produce PvE content. That doesn't mean we don't want PvP, but that means, uh, you know, right now we don't necessarily have the people that can allow us to have a pure focus on PvP. Uh, but on the other hand, I, you know, I don't want us to give up on it. That's part of the game. That's something that our players, uh, uh, that our players like and want to engage with. Uh, so we need to try to find solutions. So this is not a commitment that there will be a focus on PvP, but this is just me saying, yes, we know, and yes, we want to try to make PvP better. Uh, and, uh, and we may try, uh, and hopefully it will be better. But it's, uh, so far we don't have any uh, big uh, PvP 2.0 path that is planned. If we do it, it's more going to be like we did with SHIELD, trying to address the main outliers, the, the, the elephants in the room, uh, and try to uh, try a few things here and there and see does that make it better? Cool, we keep it. No, okay, we change. Try something else. Uh, so it's going to be more iterative than one big revamp. Yeah, definitely. And I mean, it's not like we're ignoring the comments and we see them and we acknowledge them. And that is something that team constantly uh, discussing. Mm -hmm. So. But let's pray we're going to have the right it's person <laughs> for that. <laughs> but it's, it, it's just, you know, and we have a bunch of recruitments that are open. So it's also uh, something we, uh, when we talk about, you know, rebuilding a team, we are still rebuilding that team. Um, so, uh, so, you know, one miracle would be to find, uh, to find someone that is super savvy about PvP and could help us. But it's not just that, you know, uh, it's, uh, uh, it's, about, uh, it's about looking at what's feasible with the game and how things work. Uh, and, uh, and things that might seem simple to address uh, when you play the game are actually extremely complex uh, on our side. Um, and, uh, and so a huge investment for us to, uh, to change and that might be why we, uh, we haven't addressed it. One of the problems why we are rarely speaking of PvP is because we don't have good news for PvP players. Uh, I wish I could come here and say, yeah, we're going to have a big PvP update, but uh, that's not uh, that's not the case right now, uh, but I hope at least acknowledging that yes, we know, and yes, if we can, we will try to improve and make things better. Uh, I hope is already something you know uh, uh, a right step for the PvP community to trust that uh, that we hear them. Yeah, I mean it's going to happen eventually. We just uh, need to sit tight and wait. <laughs> 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 but but yeah, uh, as soon as we have uh, news, you're gonna be the first one to know. I promise you that. So there you have it, guys. Nothing for the PvP community once again. Uh, we still got conflict, right? Nothing's been done with conflict since the game came out. It's straight shit. Everybody gets spawn trapped. Uh, skills override everything. Um, you know, they could have just made some minor fixes to the dark zone and at least to let us know that they're working on it or they're trying, you know, instead of just, you know, nothing. Uh, like I said, PvE community, they got so many options to play and and to do. The stuff gets repetitive. Uh, I'm not downing anybody that likes to play PvE. Good for you. I just wish there was more options for us PvP players. I'm just really frustrated that they took a year and a half hiatus from the game. And then they come back with a new season 
and it's all the same stuff, right? Like it's it's a new season, new uh, people to go kill. We got new exotics, yeah, but it's all the same stuff essentially, right? And uh, it's all going to get repetitive. I'll say that over and over again because that's what it is. But anyway, what are your thoughts? Uh, be sure to leave your thoughts in the comments. Let me know uh, what you're hoping for in the update or what you wanted in the update. Uh, and y'all subscribe for more content. We will see you guys in the next video.